This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an overview of Adobe Audition. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use auto ducking and, even better, a channel EQ to improve how dialogue sounds with music in Audition. Let us pretend the music is too loud. Music is too loud. How do I fix that? We have several things that we could do. One, I could. I could grab the yellow line and let's just drag this bigger. I could grab the yellow line and drag the music up or down. I could change the level inside the track and affect all the clips in the track. But there's two features inside Audition that are really cool. The first is I'm going to go to the window called Essential Sound. I'm going to select all of my dialogue clips. Remember the letter V is the move tool. That's how you select stuff. I'm going to tag them as dialogue. Got a little carried away. So I've now added a tag. Uh, Final Cut would call it a roll. A tag for the dialogue. Then I'm going to select the music. I'm going to tag that as music. With the music still selected, I'll scroll down inside the Essential Sound panel and show ducking. And we'll turn ducking on. And what ducking does is I'm going to drop this just for dramatic purposes to negative 30 just because it's really loud. But look what it says. It says whenever I hear audio coming from the dialogue, I'm going to drop the level 30 dB and automatically set keyframes, which can be adjusted for when there's no dialogue. This is great if you've got clean sound with no natural sound. You just want to have the music go down, up, down, up, down, up, which is fine in some situations, but most of the time you've got the music being a driver of the emotion. And you don't want to have the emotion going up and down and up and down. That would be stupid because you want to have that emotion be consistent. So I could pull a level down, but that's like saying my emotion is no good. I want to have the emotion be as high as possible and yet still hear the dialogue. Time for a new filter. Notice I've selected the music track, which is why you have all of your audio on the same, all the same type of audio on the same track, because I'm going to apply this to everything. We're going to go to the right pointing arrow, go to EQ and add a graphic equalizer, 20 bands. You could work with any, but 20 is fine. There's the range of human hearing, 20 to 20,000. There's human speech. I'm going to carve a channel. I'm going to drop the frequencies in the, in the area where human speech is about 6 dB. I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to reduce it. And now what I've done is I've put this channel in, which is where the vast amount of the human voice's power is in the lower frequencies. The music is still going to be below that and going to be above it at its full level and just simply decreased in the middle using this channel EQ, which makes the dialogue sit and float nicely above the music so I don't diminish the emotional impact of the music, and yet I can still hear my dialogue. This is really cool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 294. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.